video. So today we're gonna be taking a look at this crazy car right here. This is basically a turbo panto. As you can see here in the back, it has four giant back wheels. Yeah, man, this car is turbocharged and all types of stuff as well. So it's gonna be a lot of fun to use in today's video. We're gonna be trying out some challenges with it and of course all some it is done. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And yeah, man, let's begin. How do I make it out of here? Can I drive up here? Guess my pad should fit. Yeah, there we go. All right. So as you guys can see, this thing is insanely fast, and it doesn't really have the best handling either, which you guys will see in today's video. And um, so I'm gonna actually head over to Mozilla's Customs and see if we can increase the handling in any way here. Luckily, we do have Franklin's special ability here, so we can take these turns going 300 kilometers per hour. Gem, I love trying these like ridiculous car mods. You guys really seem to like them as well. Look at that guy's panto. I just noticed there are three pantos on the parking lot here at LCS. Yeah, let's see if this thing is already modified. I kind of feel like it is. Um, because it has like a road cage and everything and um, let's see, armor is 100%, bodywork um, do you want to sticker bomb this? I do not think so, that makes it look very bad um, brakes are maxed out, yeah, as you can see down there, the traction isn't really that good with this car um, let's see, bumpers, I'm actually gonna go for the extreme aero front bumper instead rear bumper, I'm not gonna sticker bomb that either it seems like everything is almost maxed out already ooh, I do like the titanium tip though of course, I have to respray it to the Torino Red, which you guys already know is the color I use for all my vehicles in the game. Now, this mod already came with a neon kit. As you can see, it has like a yellow neon, which I guess I can keep for the video. It doesn't really matter. Now, of course, the faster you go with this thing, the better traction you get. So I'm thinking that I should try and do a challenge where you have to go slow, um, since it's very difficult with this car. And to make this even more difficult, I'm gonna do a challenge map that is meant for motorbikes. So yeah, hopefully I don't regret this decision. <laughs> Alright guys, here we are on top of the maze bank. Right over here we have the challenge. So, let's see if I can even pass this window here with my thick tires. Yes, we can. This is a pretty old map, so hopefully it's not really that advanced. But it is meant for bikes, so yeah, hopefully I can still do this with a panto. No, 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 back up, back up, back up. Well, I definitely messed that up. <laughs> I guess I'm supposed to go fast over those bumps. That does make sense. So let's see here. Gonna drop down. Okay, so just go fast over these. And I'm not gonna trust this arrow because these arrows always lie in these maps. So I'm gonna try and go this way instead. Just break through the glass. Yep, there we go. There goes the container. That would have been me if I went that way. So let's keep going here. Should I try and do this without setting any checkpoints? I kind of feel like I can because this doesn't really seem too difficult. Pant is actually doing a great job on this map so far, but I'm not gonna speak too soon. But yeah, I mean, I'm just racing through this map right now. We are actually doing very, very good here. I might have spoken a bit too soon there. And now we're back at the start. Okay, so I'm gonna set one checkpoint on this map, I think. That is all I'm going to need. Um, whoa, 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 slow down there. I, mean, I feel like it would actually be possible to make something like this um, in real life. But I'm not sure how it would handle it. I'm stupid. Why did I not have enough speed there? Okay, here we go. Get some speed this time. There we go. Super easy. I'm just gonna go up here. Pass these logs. And I'm not... Let's see. I'm not gonna set a checkpoint just yet. I think I can pass this bit. Just going a bit slower this time than I did last time. I'll try not to set up the edge here on these containers. There we go. Zombies! And we just did it again. I just got up into the glass. It's pretty straightforward. Just going across these. And I'm not gonna set a checkpoint just yet, guys. I thought it's just gonna fall off, but I have to do the whole thing over again. Okay, let's set one checkpoint right here, just in case. I don't really think that I need it, but I'm just gonna keep it there for safety. But yeah, man, it was actually very easy. I guess it's because the panto is so small, even though it has these giant tires now. And it was actually perfect for this map. And where am I supposed to go? Break, 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 break. That was a smooth drift onto the container there. And I think I'm just gonna do this. Just back and up over here. And go this way. Nice. I think we are actually getting close to that. I can't remember this map from a long time ago. I think it's going to end down at the beach somewhere. Oh god. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Alright, got a zigzag between these things. Can I go into this? Of course I can, because I have the Turbo Panto. Let's just go full speed down here. No, 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 no. Let's not, let's not. I do not want to drift off here. <laughs> kind of miscalculated that. Okay, we gotta take it real careful here. Do not want to end up in the water here. This close to the ending. You got this, Franklin. It's all good. Speed through the water. There you go. Beautiful. And there is the finish line, guys. Okay, so that map was actually really easy. But let's see. I want to see how this thing handles in the skate park. So let's head over to the one on the beach over here. Alright, let's see. Looks like we got another BMX here. Hopefully we don't smash into each other. Well, that wasn't actually me, he just bailed, and he really just killed himself. Okay, I did not expect that, he just fell backwards and died. Okay guys, sick grind, are you ready? 
Oh, that was actually so clean. Into this grind as well. Man, imagine if I landed on a grind on this rail here as well. And I seem to be stuck here. Come on, I'm just gonna use some boost. There we go. Managed to get out. Okay, I do have a stunt in mind now that I wanna try with this car, which does require a lot of speed, which I think we can get with this car here. Guys, before we continue with the stunt, it is time to give some shoutouts to the people who made it into the 10 minute gang on my last video, being there within the first 10 minutes of release and of course commenting. Let's see, first comment goes to Marco Savage, congrats to you for being first. And we have Oski Oski commenting 10 minute gang, when's the next zombie apocalypse video? I think it's gonna be going up um, on Tuesday. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And then we got Jake White, shout out to you. And see, let's do one more. Let's go with Unstable Bismuth, shout out to you as well. So if you guys want to shout out in the next GTA 5 video, just comment hashtag 10 minute gang within the first 10 minutes of release. Yeah, you might get a shout out in the next video because let's head over to the stunting location right now. And let's do the crazy stunt with the Turbo Panto. Okay, I think it's on the end of this street right here. Let me just go for it straight away. So we're just gonna go over here, use Franklin's special ability to get some more speed, and then try and fly not into 